Hey guys, you're watching, you're one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to another episode of Functional Village. What have we done so far this series where well, we've done the blacksmith, we've done the enchanting room, we've done the brewing room, we've modified the farms, we've done a storage room, and we've done a nether portal room inside of the church. Hello Rain, it's so good to see you. Today, we're going to be working on, I don't really know what to call it, a, a dog kennel, a wolf den, wolf storage somewhere to put your dogs most people on survivor like to have at least one dog i know talking from experience personally i like to have multiple dogs and i like to color code their collars and give them all names so i know which one the troublemakers are and which one the good dogs are uh so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be using one of these uh library rooms or ex library rooms you know the ones with the bookshelves in we've done this before or we've used this building before for the storage the reason why i chose this house for or this building for it is because they're not quite as big as the t-shaped ones you could do this in a t-shaped one if you've got a lot of dogs uh, but i think we're going to be able to fit four or five uh inside here so it doesn't take quite as long uh to work on plus you can use the bigger ones for more storage and stuff like that that we need i've got some more ideas for those bigger rooms and hopefully by now you should have a style that you like one of the styles that i've done during over this series we've got the vanilla style of just using the same color palette of blocks but changing it up a little bit you know with some stairs and some cobblestone and stuff like that uh, and just adding no trap doors but keeping the same original vanilla uh, look we've done that with the church as well just added some stairs to the roof We've got the Tudor design that we've done uh, after that, you know, over here that we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using the Tudor style in our wolf den today. We've done a suburban look for a more sort of modern house look. And we've done uh, a sort of traditional brick look uh, using some nice red blocks uh, and using the bricks in a way that I think works. I don't know about you guys. But today we're going to be doing the uh, Tudor style again, but I'm going to be changing the roof from an oak uh, to a spruce because I think the spruce would suit better with Tudor style. It looks good in oak. It looks more, uh, it looks more thatched in oak. I think when you're using the Tudor style and you're using the sort of white wool like that, it looks like a thatched roof. Uh, but if you want a more wooden, hey hey, you got back up again. <laughs> he got up there last episode, pushed him off. He's gone back up. He likes it up there. But yeah, I think uh, I think having a spruce wood top would look a little bit more uh wooden rather than thatched so we're going to go with spruce and the first thing i need to do is just change all of this up so i should be back all right so once you've replaced all of the oak with the spruce you're then going to add one extra stair to both ends it's going to give that little overhang that we like uh just uh, increase the quality i feel of the building so up those and put the upside down ones in like so do the same on the other side now i don't think that the buildings these buildings look good with a spruce roof if you leave the bottom half the cobblestone and oak i don't know why i just really don't think that goes well i think the cobblestone and the spruce clash together a lot maybe it would look okay if you were doing more of a tropical design maybe something in the jungle that would work a little bit better. It looks a little bit wet, uh, a little bit old. Something maybe in the swamp would work with cobblestone and spruce. But they're a combination of blocks that, that just don't suit in, in a plains environment. So I don't recommend doing that. Then we're going to need a stone brick foundation. Uh, not monster egg one. I wish I could just remove that from the game. I, I never use monster egg ones. Why would you want to... Be that, that's a question. Why would you want to build something in monster egg blocks can you answer me that like like they're in the creative menu aren't they and and when would you want to nobody i i, I don't think i've ever ever in my years of playing um uh, playing minecraft have i ever built something entirely out of uh, <laughs> entirely out of uh monster egg blocks what what's the point i don't get that that sounds ridiculous uh, I want that one, and I want... I've got the trapdoors. Beautiful. So just grab the blocks from there. Once you've got the foundation in, we're then going to switch up these corners. It's pretty much the same as what we've uh, done before, but I think that sh that building is a T-shaped one. This one is a square one, so it's a little bit easier to do, in fact, because there's not those interior corners that you have to sort of end up building. He's on the cobblestone walls. Those villagers, they just like to get in any place that they're not supposed to go, don't they? It's like a villager's challenge. I remember way back 
um, on Zonocraft, and it was it was a long time ago on Zonocraft, um, years ago in fact. I remember trying to get villagers into a jungle uh, village that jungles had only just came out. Do I like that? Ooh, no, I don't think I do. I'm going to take those away, and I'm going to put them along the top here instead. Along this one? Hold on, I'll continue with the story in a minute. Yeah, 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 that's better. Uh, so, yeah, jungles had just came out, and uh, I was building a, a jungle village with all the buildings up uh, in the trees and had, like, little bridges and walkways. It looked really cool. I thought, aha, okay, time to get some villagers up here. And within seconds... <laughs> Within seconds, there was villagers escaping over weird jumps that I would never think a villager would be capable of doing. Uh, so I'd fix them and they'd find another way out. It's like their AI wants to go anywhere apart from where you want to keep them. I, Who knows how that happened, but it's not something that they ever want to do. I really dislike these two block high windows. They wreck everything on the old house over here all of the windows were one block high so it made the spruce in here work really well uh, like the spruce behind the trap doors but because on this building the walls are the walls are like one block higher so the roof is end up uh, ends up being one block higher you can fit in a two a high window and it would look weird if i done this and i put this here that would look weird because the window's so thin so you definitely have to keep it like this but then putting the spruce up on either side looks so strange. I don't know. Maybe I was given a bit. Maybe I, maybe I thought too quickly. Maybe I didn't give it a chance. If we do something like that, put the door in facing backwards. I might have to take that door away depending on what floor I put in. Nah, man. I I don't like that. I like it with the wool on either side. We'll still put the trap doors there, but I don't like the spruce behind it and i also think that oops i also think that would wreck the interior uh the interior walls obviously if we had that now these back ones these back windows uh don't aren't here shouldn't be here uh, so we're going to remove those and replace it all with wool because we need uh some sort of solid wall to be able to uh, have our wolves stored is that the right word stored in Hey, I hate using the word stored when you're talking about animals and stuff like that. It just sounds so wrong. It's innocent, but it sounds wrong. Have those ones. I think I want them. There is no. I was thinking like some 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 big old dowels at the top there, but nah. And here, trap doors on there. Alright, once we've done the outside, we can now do some uh, plant pots. There's a couple of different styles you can do. You can do the style that we've done. Oh, I've got a sneeze coming. Oh, hold your horses. Choo! 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 I'm fine. Okay, uh, we've got two different styles. So we can either do the style that we've done on this one with the grass, the trapdoors, and the sort of oak, or we'll end up using spruce to match the roof underneath it. Or there was another window design, wasn't there, that I done? Was it on the blacksmith? Yeah, using podsole and doing it on the ground level, on the bottom level. Is there two up there now? Yeah. <laughs> Drug deal going on up there or something. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do... Uh, it off the ground, I think it looks better off the ground uh, in these buildings. But instead of doing grass like I've done the last one, I'm going to do podzol. We're going to give that a go. So we want podzol. We want the spruce slabs. We want uh, trapdoors, which I've got. And we want a couple of different plant types. Uh, just sort of the one block high plants. Don't go with like the two high bushes and stuff like that. They don't look good inside these little plant pots. So I'm going to grab a few different types here. We'll grab a blue one. Why not? Oh, they're going in there. They already like it. See, they've got a whole village to go, and they want to go inside the building that I want to work on. It's, <laughs> it's just what they do, isn't it? So we'll have that one and that one. Beautiful. And on the other side, did they flick that, or did I flick that? I can't remember. We shall put these in here. Can villagers open up trapdoors? You know, I've got a feeling that they can't but they're basically normal doors and villagers can open normal doors so maybe they can open i don't know i've never seen it happen not that i not that i know of anyway all right is there any details that i'm missing off the tudor style uh we need the sign oh i forgot to put that on the church as well i always forget to do that 
No, I don't think so. I think we're pretty much there with the uh, the basic look. It's, it's a lovely style. It looks so good, especially when you've got a bunch of houses that have this style. Uh, really easy to build as well, and the materials are super easy to get. It's just cutting down some spruce trees, which are everywhere. Uh, getting a load of sheep, like setting up a little sheep farm to get the wool. Uh, and surprisingly, it's not that much wool that you need to actually have when you're doing a building this size. But anyhow, let's jump inside here and we'll clear out some space. We want to get rid of these bookshelves. Uh, we want to get rid of these logs. We want to get rid of the furniture in here. We want to get rid of the cobblestone up here. This is sort of wasted space in a way. Uh, but uh, we're removing this because we want to replace it with slabs. With the nice smooth slabs in here. So we're going to put those around here. These cobblestone are also wasted. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace these with logs. That gives us a little bit more of a, a sort of topping. And you can't see any of that from the outside. And we've got one more layer to get rid of. These, these houses are so tall inside. It's like a TARDIS. And we're going to take those away. And we're going to place them with slabs on the bottom half, not on the top half. If you put them on the top half of the block, you can then see the wool and the wood. And you can't get rid of the wool and the wood because that's what's visible from the outside. This is actually the roof uh, that we replaced. So what you want to do is you want to put it on the bottom half so you can't see that, uh, but you can see all of the logs. If you wanted to, you could put it on the top half of the logs on this level. That gives you a little, oops, gives you a little half slab look of the logs. The only trouble is this is hard to then connect anything to the ceiling. And we're planning to hang some things down from the ceiling. So, yeah, we'll find that. Hiccup, find that out in a moment. Oi, this is nice. Really, can you guys just get out? Please. Please, will you leave? Did that work? Can you please leave? Go on. Get out. Follow your friend. I've got a build in here. All right, we'll ignore them. Uh, they're going to get in the way, though. We're going to need some cobblestone walls to divide up where our dogs are going to go. Now, dogs are not like horses, obviously. We can... Uh, there, there, and there. Uh, with horses, you have to put some sort of uh, barrier in front of them so they can't get out because horses wander around, don't they, a lot aimlessly. Now, you could leave your dogs free to wander around inside here, but the only trouble is that they teleport you. They teleport to you quite a lot unless they're sitting down. I know when they're sitting down, they do still teleport. And you, get out. Last one. Go on. Off you go. Uh, they do still randomly teleport to you but at least not as much uh, so you're going to grab some carpets to go in here this is going to be the carpets corresponding to your dog's collar so i'm going to grab uh, was it five i'm going to have a red one green one blue one yellow is four four dogs that we can fit in here dogs are also going to need some water so we're going to grab a cauldron and we're going to grab a bucket of water and i'm going to stick this over here oops in there. I don't want to put it like as a, a source block like that. I think it looks much neater if you have it as a little cauldron in there. Obviously the dogs don't actually drink it but you know, we, we know that. Uh, for lighting in here we're going to go with some glowstone and we're going to put the glowstone here and here. Now I'm not going to go all the way. That's more than enough lighting that we need inside of the building. Uh, but there's a little bit of a plan that I'm going to have over here. Oops, over here. What we're going to do is we're going to grab two chests, normal chests, and I'm going to place them down inside here. Uh, that's a real shame that we're going to be able to see that glowstone. I suppose you could shrink it. I want something like this. You can't see the dirt from down below. The reason why I want this here is because you always want steak nearby your dogs when your dogs get injured you want a way to be able to heal them easily and to give them a treat i suppose uh, so yeah i like to have a nice chest full of steak near my dogs uh, in case i don't know a creeper blows up and injures them we can heal them nice and easily we don't have to go into storage and find food just bang steak for the dogs easy and simple let's get some uh, uh, no i'm not gonna get some dogs in i'll get some dogs in at the end uh, it's a pain and creative to try and tame them Really? Are you enjoying it? You think it looks good, yeah? Good, now get out. Now we want to have uh, the dog signs. We want to be able to name our dogs. We're going to go with some fences. I'm going to go with uh, spruce. And we're going to go with a block. We're going to go with spruce again. Yeah, I think so. Then we're going to need a sign. 
Will you stop it? Get out. Could you hear that? Undoing and doing up the wall again. Uh, so we want to have uh, logs going down here. And then I want fences. Oh, I lost the fences. We want fences going one down here, one down there, one down there, one down there. And then we're going to put... Where did the stupid block go? We want the block here, 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 and here. And then put our size. So we want uh, Reggie, Billy Bob, uh, Janice, and, uh, I don't know, Kingston. There's our four dog names. Uh, easy to see which ones go where. And then we can finish off with some item frames and a bone for the treats for the dogs. They're like their little toy bed. We're going to put it up here. Oops. And I think it looks super neat with a little bone above each one. Or you could put their favorite item. Like if, if one of them likes bones, you can put a bone in there. If one of them likes, I don't know, apples, you can stick an apple in there. Uh, or like a tennis ball or something like that. You know, favorite dog treats. On the inside, though, it looks super, super neat. The uh, white wool from the exterior uh, looks really nice on the inside as well, which is nice. Uh, we've got food and water for the dogs. We've got their little dog beds that are going to correspond to their colors. Can I get a wolf tamed without too much problem? Ooh. Two. Three. Four. Ha, ha, ha. Now come in with me. Come in here. Yeah, we got one in. Okay, sit down. You're gonna be blue. Uh, come over here. Can you come closer, man? <laughs> you in there? No, no. Come back. Hello. Come in. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good boy. Oh, keep coming. We'll stick you over here. Ooh, no, don't go in that one. No. Get out. Get out of it. Stop getting in my way. You in here? Well, that's actually not that. And you. You came in. That isn't actually as hard to do as I thought. I thought it would be a little bit tricky fitting them in these one wide areas. But no, it's actually a lot easier than you think. And if you're only going to take one dog out at a time, it's not going to take... Uh, it's not going to be like that awkward dye. We want uh, blue dye. We want yellow dye. Orange, I don't think we had, and green. Green, blue, and yellow. There we go. Super neat. Look how cool that looks with the collar matching the uh, carpet there. And that's sorted. To do our finish off, uh, we need dark oak. We need sign. And we need a normal fence. And we come off here. Uh, I'm going to have to grab one of those full blocks as well. That one. Shut the door. Put the full block here. Have that come off the side. And put in this one. And we want... Kennel. Kennel. And... Kennel. Wonderful. And then we forgot to do it on the nether portal as well, didn't we? Uh, we'll have it coming off here, I suppose. Let's do that as a full cobblestone block, soon as we're going to put something on it. Otherwise, it doesn't join up, you see. And then we'll have... Nether portal. Nether portal there. Okay, then. I put an A on the end. Nether portal. And nether portal. I'm going to change that one, because that's going to annoy everybody, isn't it? Nether portal. They, those villagers never went up there until I changed the church. And look, why? Why? Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you want to read them, feel free to subscribe. There's our kennels done, and we shall see you in the next episode.